Skinny here, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. So, uh, we got some new stuff in the last episode. So we now have uh, the slicer. I don't think you saw that. I think I bought it from the merchant between episodes. But I got the slicer, so I got rid of my old one. And I added the few shot, which every fifth shot, it will do a bit of an explosion. Um, and also the infinity. And I leveled that all the way up, so like... 50% of the time, if I shoot an arrow, it will replenish itself. So that's going to be quite good because I'm always seeming to run out of arrows. And then we got the scale mail, which has thorns, thorns 2, which this one didn't give me the options of thorns, which kind of annoyed me because I think this is probably going to be the better option for us. Um, but I do like the thorns, but I don't know which one I would, which one of these I would use. 20% uh, movement speed, probably a good idea. Frenzied. I mean, that's actually probably a good idea. So that's probably the one I would choose. Um, I also got this, which is a lot higher up in level than that, but also doesn't have as many enhancements. So I'm going to get rid of that, actually. Um, I do have Fireworks Arrow of level 22 versus the ranged arrow of this one. I don't know which one's better. I'm going to try this one out, but I'm going to leave that one just in case. Um, I've got that bow, but I don't want that bow. So we don't have much in our inventory at the moment, but we have kind of leveled up quite a few things. So we're just going to keep an eye on that and if we decide to use our souls thing, we can. And we're going to move on to the Obsidian Pinnacle, which is quite difficult. Um, my power level is not really high enough for this, so we're quite possibly going to die, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to see how we go. And you never know, we might level ourselves up on the way, so it's possible. The arch illager fled to the ramparts of High Block Castle, but he can't have gotten far. Make haste and fight your way through to the highest tower. The arch illager and his reign of terror ends tonight. I am glad that you have confidence in me, game, because I don't have confidence in me, so I don't think it's going to end tonight, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, these. Ah! Oh, goodness gracious me. That's like instant death. Now, we do have 51 arrows. And quite a few of those are being replaced, so that's a positive. Um, oh, that fireworks arrow was fun. I have to just remember to use it, which is my biggest problem. Um, let's try and kill that dude before he gets to me. We need to level up. Um, the amount of souls. Yeah, souls is going to be a big issue. So I'm thinking we actually probably should swap this out. So it doesn't have anything on it, but it's going to give me extra souls. Which is going to be... Oh my goodness! I was not prepared for that. I... <laughs> that was some, like, instant death. Not great, not great. Um, okay. It's fine. We got this. Maybe. Oh, wow. Um. Oh, and you can turn that one off, too? Oh, I missed the thingy. Okay, we need more souls. Oh, yeah, and the, the bow itself sometimes does piercing shots, which just go straight through. And the time shots work well. Um, okay. Did the health just in time for that one, I think. Okay. I'm thinking... It may be too early for us to be doing this level. We may need to level up a bit. I was hoping that we'd be able to do it, but, um... I mean, it's not looking great. We're, we're doing terribly, even against the easy bosses. And it's, it's just going to get harder. So we're, we're about to die. we got one last chance. We haven't even made it anywhere. So we're probably going to go back, probably even to the start level maybe. I'm just going through some of the start levels and leveling up a little bit because uh, I, yeah, I'm not good at this game. <laughs> Me no good. So, okay. We need to get at least a few levels up. Alright, so we'll, we'll come back to that one at a later stage. Also, the Island Realms are coming soon, which is super exciting. Um, available soon. 
All right, where do I want to go? Um, pumpkin pastures was nice. Squid Coast, we're done. Don't want to do that one again. What do you got available to you? There's an unknown artifact there, and it does have daggers. Let's recommend Patters Tower 16. Okay, so let's let's try doing that one because I lo I like the daggers. And if we can get a really good set of daggers, that might be quite helpful to us. But I just need to get into the habit of using the, the things that we have. Um, also, I, I don't need to hear that again. Alright. How many... Um, no, not that one, this one. So there's one, zero, zero secrets and three chests. Alright, so we need to see if we can find some chests while we're at it. This is one of the ones that was like all over the place, not linear at all. So I don't know how well we're going to go with this. I'm going to try and just do it in one episode so not take too long to go all over the place. Okay, stop being irritating. But, yeah, hopefully we can get some good stuff. That's what we need the chests for, I guess. Um, do I remember anything about this one? No. No, I do not. I do not remember any places that we found chests or anything like that. It's been a while since we played, actually. Alright, so we're going to go through... going to try and do our best to complete this level fairly easily and hopefully get some cool weapons or a bunch of emeralds which we can then use. I think I, I got rid of the um, pickaxe, the diamond pickaxe that we had, which probably would have been good in the quest to get a lot of emeralds, but this one seems to be doing okay, so I'm not complaining about that one. Also, if you knock them into the like acid water, it's actually quite good because it kills them as well. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I need to practice getting into the habit of actually using these things. Alright, let's do this. Okay. He's got to remember to turn it off after you use it. When everything's dead, just get rid of it. Actually, I think I remember one of these houses had a door that you could open. I wonder if that was actually true or I just imagined that. I mean, either way is possible, really. You go into the, the terrible acid liquid in the bottom of the ground go. Uh, yeah, he's fallen off. Right, um, we'll just do a little bit of a quick heal using the emblet. So get out of there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hit you with this. I don't like the mini baby zombies. They're not fun. And the witches don't the witches aren't fun either. The witches kind of completely suck. Actually, maybe the um, the house that you can go into was in the pumpkin pastures, because that was all about villages. That would kind of make sense. But, yeah. I don't know. We're not doing a very good job of avoiding being hit by people at the moment. Alright, let's use this again. Uh, and then turn it off. So that we don't use up all of this souls. I don't think um, we do seem to be getting a lot more souls using the thing that we're using, the um, cloak thingy. I think each person gives more souls than it did before. Also, this is a lot harder than the first time we did this. I do have to say that. A lot harder. Alright, let's just back up for a moment. Alright, let me the fireworks. Eat the apple. Bam. I thought I fireworks the slime, but I didn't. Oh, hello, random potion that's chilling over here. Okay, can you let me hit you with that, please? Thank you. Alright, I want to see what's over here. Don't get knocked in. Thank you. Oh, a cauldron. Thank you. So I need to destroy all of the brews. Alright, again, that worked quite remarkably. I like that, but I don't know if I like that more than the random shockwave thingy, but I think I may have gotten rid of that, so... We'll have to see. Okay, little baby slimes kind of suck as well. 
Okay, um, where am I going? I don't know. I don't know, but they seem to be walking around in circles a little bit. That's okay. Alright, let's, let's make sure we collect all of those. Don't want to leave them just chilling there. Alright, how are we going? Alright, we walked completely in the wrong direction for these. That's okay, we'll get there. Keep going. Over here, there we go. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to be using the, the healing thing maybe a little bit more than the um, cube of destiny or whatever that thing is. But I guess we'll see. Alright, so that's done. So let's find the cauldron. Where, where is my arrow? Tell me where to go this way. I'm just going to follow the arrow. There we go. Open bridge. Ooh. Are these just normal skeletons? Or are these like withered skeletons? They're enhanced. They're frenzied and have protection. Oh, they're hard to kill. Yeah. Okay. That may cause us some problems. Right. Is this, I think this is where I needed to go, right? Oh, there's an Enderman in here. Alright, gotta keep up the health. Go away. Just keep running. Right. He is so close to dead. There we go. He died. And just gave me one measly little TNT. Hey, better than nothing, I guess. Alright. There we go. I didn't even manage to kill the pig. That's annoying. Anyway, I'm doing okay. Where'd the pig go? Too bad the pig ran down this way. Of course he did. The complete opposite direction that I would want him to go. Ugh, nope. Get out of the range. Thank you. Alright, that worked. But you know what? There's nothing down here. <sighs> okay. I don't know if this was where I was meant to go, or if it was just there and existed. I don't actually think I need to be in here. If I wanted to like speedrun it or something, I could just skip over it and it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, stop dude. You're not going to get away with it. Okay, is there anything down here? Nope. Nope, of course not. Of course there's not something down here. That would make too much sense. Continuing. I guess I probably could have walked over this way from there. It's very dark in here. Let's just go over there. A little bit. One of them just walked directly off the edge into the acid pool. Good work. Makes much sense. Anyway, look at all the arrows I have. Isn't this great? I feel like I should be upstairs. Also, I feel like last time I did this in the backwards direction. But that could be wrong. Okay, let's see if I can get... Is there any way to get up there? No. Alright, continuing. I mean, there's not much else I can do. Other than just keep going this direction and hope for the best. I mean, we're not doing terribly at the moment, so... Positives. Gotta think positive. And we're going to be improving our levels, hopefully. And by leveling up, we can eventually get through this level. Or the final level and not die a painful instant death. You know, because that's not fun. Right, those slimes, not the greatest. I don't think that got anybody. Oh no, it got one random zombie that was downstairs. Stop. Just die already, my friends. Just die. I don't know. 
I, th I feel like I'm missing things, but I don't really want to go back. Was all of that just for that? There's nothing here I can click on. Oh, there's lots of different directions we can go. Alright. Well, let's head this way quickly because it's the opposite direction where we need to be. So that'll get this done so we're not having to go back after we've done where we need to go. Goodbye. Um, and our soul situation is pretty good, so make sure to use some of those. There's a zombie here. Are we still able to go this way? We are. Let's see if there's anything down here. This looks like it could be something. Nope. It just looks like it could be something. It's not actually something. Unless you have to do something like funky to open secrets, like walk around in a circle three times and touch your left foot to your ear and yada yada yada. I mean, this would be a kind of game that wouldn't surprise me if it did that. Oh, stop throwing things at me, witches. You're so annoying. <laughs> Got ya. What if it's like you have to have like a shadow thing on to be able to unlock a secret? Can you imagine that? That would be annoying to try and work out what you have to do. Anyway, this area is now clear. We need to just go up this way. Oh, thank you, Emerald. Make sure we don't leave any random emeralds behind. Is that is that it? That's it. Alright. Continuing in the proper direction that we need to follow now. Let's go up here. And there's a lot of this area that needs to be explored. So there's an area over there, but I'm not going to go all the way back there. Um, oh, where am I going? I don't know. This is, this is probably one of the least linear levels. I've been here already. The least linear levels, which... I like the linear levels. They're not, like, as explory and fun, but I don't get lost. And I don't, like, completely destroy myself trying to find places and get stuck in areas for hours along because I can't follow directions. You know. I mean, it, it does have at least the directional thing of the, that thingy, but it could be, be slightly easier to follow, in my personal opinion. Alright, we'll grab some more emeralds, please. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Um, and we'll just quickly check out these areas, because we don't want them to feel left out. Don't fall into the gross water. That could be great. Oh, lovely. Good thing we checked this area. Oh, yay, daggers. I love me some good old daggers. We'll have to check that one out. And looks like I've already been there. Or maybe it just had nothing on it. Both of those would make sense. Alright, let's keep going. Do, 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 do. How do I... I thought that was water, but that's not water. Alright, so that, again, I think was entirely unnecessary, but it did get us from one place to another, so maybe you do need to go through there to get from one place to another. Yeah, let's just have a quick look. Okay, yeah, so there's there doesn't appear to be any way to get from there to here, so maybe you do need to go through there. Which I guess makes sense in a witch's level, because witches would never take the easy route. They probably, like, teleport themselves. Okay, let's use some of this again. And I turned it off in time this time. Perfect. I, I kind of like that one. But I also feel like I kind of dislike that one at the same time. Um, excuse me. Walk, please. I don't, I don't know how to get down to that downstairs area. This way. There we go. I mean, I don't particularly want to be down here, but, you know, let's use the arrow. There we go. And by the arrow, I don't actually mean the arrow, I mean the cube. Also, look at how many arrows we have. This infinity thing is actually quite good because we need it. <laughs> and it's it's giving us a lot of the arrows back. So we're probably ending up with twice as many arrows as we would usually have in this game. Okay, oh, what are we are we in the right place, kind of? I don't actually know, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. This is a confusing place to be. Alright. Use the arrows. Grab the apples. Ooh, I leveled up. Perfect. Alright. And we are getting a bit more gear at this level. So that's good. 
so I think I think we'll be able to do it not too long from now I might go through and do a few levels kind of by myself and see how it goes um, just not filming go through a few try and collect a bunch of stuff but if you guys would like to see that and you think that it would be good to see that um, let me know and I'll try and allow Oh, I'll try and remember to film those things as well. Um, you know what? I can't be bothered. Let's just keep going. In this direction. So, yeah, let me know if you would like to see us go through the levels again at a higher stage to try and get more stuff and better ourselves. Because I would be happy to do that for you if you would like. Otherwise, I'll go through it on my own and try and get some more stuff. And level up and all of that so that we can hopefully have a chance of surviving against the terrible terrible level of the crude or whatever it was called I don't remember it was like two seconds ago but hmm. goodbye goodbye all right there's a chest here also let me know if you know where any of the secrets are because that could be kind of useful if we could go through and find like all of the little secret places and the chests and stuff like that. And and do a good run through of each of the levels. Check everything out. How do I get up there? Ooh, apple. Oh, there it is. Oh, there is a lot of people here. That soul thing kind of works. And then by killing them with the soul thing, you're getting their souls so that also quite helpful so I don't know I don't know if I like that one or the other one better I think probably this one actually so the other one it did a straight kind of circle around you but they had to be a particular distance whereas this one goes a very long distance so it doesn't matter what distance they are so I don't know I think I like this one better it's also a higher level so it's doing a bit more damage Oh, oh, I needed to move there, but I forgot to move. I actually think I had the, um, thing open. Oh, uh, actually, I remember this level. This was a good level to be not in here getting shot by these things. This is a good, uh, arrow level. Yeah. We can do arrows. Yeah, I think that's probably the best option. Because that they do... Uh, it does keep producing things that are not nice and try and shoot me. And there's got fires around it so I can't actually go in there and, you know, hit it with a pickaxe. And I think actually my... I could use this. Oh no, it died. Sweet. Ooh, moon daggers. That sounds fancy. Right, is there anything up and around here? No. Alright, let's go. That wasn't too bad. In fact, I would say that was pretty good. It is no more, and it will be a long time before the witches recover from this blow. Well done. So a lot harder than the first time we went through that level, but also a lot quicker because we didn't stop and look for everything. So we probably missed a few chests and secrets and all of that, but you know what? It's okay. And um, we did get a harvester. All right, so let's let's go through our stuff. We got a totem of regeneration. Um, the handcrafted wooden figure radiates a warmth like that of the crackling campfire, healing those who gather around it. Um, Seventy nine health healed. So that's better than this. Yeah, okay, so that's gonna go in there. So, sorry my soul healer, but I don't need you anymore. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of you, and you, and you. Mm. I mean, that could work quite well. 
we're gonna leave it for the moment. I'm gonna get rid of you because I don't want you. We did get this. What does this do? No, I don't want that either. Alright, Moon Daggers. Souls critical boost. What does that mean? Does it mean we get more souls? And it does have two options available to it. Increased damage against the undead. Echo is good. I like the echo, so I do echo and probably leeching. It does 22 melee damage and this does 52. Hmm. I mean... Ugh. And then the harvester it does do the explosion, but I think I like the other one better. We'll leave it there for the moment. Right, I'm going to leave that there as well. Um, we'll get rid of the daggers because we don't want to keep the daggers. Okay, so we do have, we've got this, but if we're using these, we might not need it. And let's just go have a look. Hang on. Okay, so that did 52, 52, but on a normal one it just does 52. Okay, so that's a thing. Ooh, look at my healing radiation area. Um, anyway, so that's that, and then our moon daggers. Do a lot of really quick damage. And they will occasionally do a double. I don't know. So this is um, half of that speed. Okay, that's a lot slower, but it also does area damage. I don't know. Like, I would do leeching on that one, so that would be the same. And th so the actual things themselves would be the same. It's just the speed and power. Huh. Interesting. I don't know what to do. I think we're going to have to go through a few levels and just try it out. So let me know what you think. Do you want to see that? Do you want to see us go through and, and do a few extra levels of randomness to try and increase our stuff? Or would you prefer to just come back for the last level when I've got enough stuff. Oh my goodness, I just got a bunch of random stuff. Before we go, let's have a look at all of those things. Alright. Fleeting and echo. It does have echo. 20 to 47 damage. So that's just the soul daggers, which is 22. I mean, the six are pretty good. Might actually be better than that. Uh, and this is a 25. It pulls enemies in. I wonder what that does bad speed but has a much better power I wonder what great splash does and then you don't really do anything helpful you give us more health and then a pet bat but don't give us the souls and don't really have anything that I want I know it's better but huh anyway let me know what you think um i'm gonna leave this episode here i hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please leave a like down below it does help me out quite a bit and if you have any tips or suggestions don't forget to leave them in the comments down below other than that i hope you have a lovely day keep smiling and i shall see you in the next video bye